Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 252 of our great tour of the famous series. In this episode, we return to Manila North Cemetery in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen interred in this part of Metro Manila. Um, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of a classical and jazz pianist and musical conductor that was became famous and influential in the British dance music scene of the 1920s. Located at the southern side of the cemetery, we found the Elizalde Mausoleum and the final resting place of Fred Elizalde. Federico Diaz Elizalde was born on the 12th December 1907 in Manila of Spanish descent. He was a classical and jazz pianist and musical conductor. Fred was the brother of former ambassador to U.S. Joaquin Miguel or Mike Elizalde during Rojas and Quirino administrations, and businessman Manuel or Manolo Elizalde, the lead founder of DZRH under Manila Broadcasting Company, as well as the earlier basketball teams Ico and Tanduay. Manolo was the father of Fred J. Elizalde and father-in-law of prima ballerina Lisa Macuha. In 1914, at the age of seven, Elizalde joined Madrid Royal Conservatory. He won the first prize in piano at the age of 14. Elizalde studied at St. Joseph College in London and attended law school at Stanford University in California in the early 1920s. He left Stanford in 1926 to pursue a career in jazz music and formed Cinderella Roof Orchestra in Los Angeles. In 1927, Elizalde was sent by his parents to Cambridge University in England to continue his law studies. While in England, Elizalde formed several British bands including the famed Anglo-American Fred Elizalde Orchestra at the Savoy Hotel, including the popular music Singapore Sorrows released in 1929 under Parlophone Records. In 1930, he left England and briefly stayed in Manila and accepted the position of conductor of the Manila Symphony Orchestra. Elizalde and his bands performed and released a number of albums and singles in England, including 1927 Stomp Your Feet, released under Gramophone Records. Under the Moon released under Brunswick Records. In 
in 28, somebody stole my gal, released under Brunswick Records. If I had you release under Brunswick Records. I could show the world how to smile, I could be glad all on the while. I could change the old days behind, leave all my pals, I'd never mind. I could climb the snow capped mountains, sail the mighty ocean wide. There's nothing I couldn't do if I had you. And 1933, I've got the word on a string release under Decca Records. to late 1940s, Elizalde lived in England, Spain, and France, where he worked on many musical composition and performed in musical concert as a pianist or conductor. In 1948, he returned and settled in Manila, where he again worked as musical conductor for Manila Symphony Orchestra. In 1951, he led the London Symphony Orchestra at the Royal Festival Hall during the Festival of Britain in that year. Under beams of light from the shot tower beacon, Britain's great festival neared its end. Now the lights die and there's a hush. Elizalde also became president of Manila Broadcasting Company, a radio station run by Elizalde family until his retirement in 1974. In 1978, Elizalde and GMA founder Bob Stewart or Uncle Bob had musical TV show titled The Maestro and Uncle Bob. Elizalde died on the 16th January 1979 at the age of 71. In the next episode, we will post more video on our visit here at Manila North Cemetery and Libingan ng Mabayani in Taguig. Later in this channel, we will also post more grave tour videos including Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina and in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next grave tour of the famous episodes.